Hello, welcome to Carmelita Gardens. My name is Phil Hahn, and I am the owner and developer of this beautiful off-grid community. I'm standing here in front of Casablanca, a newly finished home for one of our owners, Christy, who has been kind enough to let us use her home as a demonstration for this episode, which we're calling, How Does Your Home Work? In an off-grid community, as the name implies, the homes are all off-grid and we have four essential systems in our off-grid homes. We have the power, we have the water, we have the wastewater, and we have communications. I'd like to take you into the home and show you how the systems work, as well as give you an idea of how the architecture also works in an off-grid home. So, please follow me. Welcome to Casablanca. The first thing that you notice when you walk into the home is here in the evening sun, we still have a lot of natural light coming in from the cupola. That's part of the architecture that works in an off-grid home. The light flows in and the hot air flows out. It works really well. We have high ceilings and then the nice light and airy ceiling helps that heat go up to the cupola as well. And we have a beautiful, well-appointed kitchen. You see, we give up no creature comforts in the off-grid homes here. One of the essential systems that I mentioned that makes an off-grid home work is the water system. The water system starts with a catchment area, which is essentially the roof. And the water flows then through gutters and downspouts, as you see here, and it goes into the water tank, the storage of the water, which is a, called a cistern, and it is underneath this whole porch. We have a nice room, roomy porch, and underneath is a large tank of water, which actually helps to keep the porch cool as well. And then we have a manhole here that you can see uh, where the water is, and then the pipe goes to a submersible pump. That pump then is connected to a uh, pressure system, a pressure tank, and a filtration system uh, so that as the water goes into the home, it's already filtered. You can also treat it. Some people do. Some people don't like it treated. But uh, we, we think about everybody's individual needs. We design and we build homes for their lifestyle and their budget. And one of the things that is also determined by lifestyle is how much water, how much power do you need? And so we take a look at that as we're designing the home. And in this case, for Christy, we have 9,500 gallons stored here right below our feet. And that's, that's a lot of water. Even if you are, uh, I don't know, say wasteful, but if you use a lot of water, which would be like 100 gallons a day, for example, it's still enough water to get you through 60 days of, uh, of no rain, which just doesn't happen here in the tropics. So the water that comes from the cistern goes here into, come over to this side, into the filter system, sediment, charcoal filters, and then it also is pressurized by this pressure tank here. And you can see here with the, the, the pressure gauge that it's at uh, about 40 PSI, which is great. You're gonna get a nice pressure shower and a lot of water pressure at the kitchen sink, just like you would have in any other home, just because it's off grid. Again, we're not giving up uh, any of those creature comforts. And part of the creature comforts is uh, hot water. We've tried tankless, so they just don't work as well. And we don't need that much hot water here in the tropics. So a nice gas water heater works fine. And we also have gas for the dryer and for the, uh, the stove. <laughs> you know, uh, the gas, uh, cooking on gas is, uh, is the way to go. And it also helps with the electrical consumption. So when you're off grid, try to keep that consumption down, but we size the systems. Again, we take a look at people's lifestyle. For Christy, we've sized the system with four batteries. These are, each one is about uh, five kilowatts. And basically how the system works is the sun is your, is your charger, like on your phone. You know, you, you, you plug in your charger to charge your phone. You do the same thing with the sun. The sun plugs into those panels, so to speak, and it provides the energy that goes into the uh, inverter, charger, 
and also is stored in the batteries so that when the sun goes down, the power from the batteries then goes sod uh, through and into the house. And we have a thing that's called floating. That's when as much sun has, uh, uh, energy has gone through the panels and into the batteries that it can't store anymore. That's a good time to, to do laundry, do dishes, the things that uh, use power. And so it's the same kind of mentality that you would have with your phone. You know, you have 100%, great, you watch videos, do whatever you want, but when you, oh, you get the low battery warning, you say, okay, I have a conference call tonight or whatever, and I wanna watch a video. You don't use up your power until you can get back plugged in again. And that's every morning we get plugged back in again. And so you just wanna store enough that you get through the night or a few cloudy days. The other part of the off-grid system that I mentioned is wastewater. So it comes from the house, just like any other, you know, on-grid system. And then it goes into a multi-chambered uh, septic tanks, three different uh, chambers, so that by the time it gets out to the drain field, it is what we call irrigation quality, uh, and it doesn't create uh, toxic soil conditions. And the other thing that is so important to everybody these days, maybe more important than the other four, just while you still need power uh, for your communications system. Here we have uh, the system for the internet. It comes from uh, a tower in San Ignacio, uh, which is about two miles away as the crow flies. And we have good high speed internet and we have three different providers uh, that uh, provide us internet to our different homes. We have about 40 homes and uh, residents now and they kind of pick and choose the system. And we do actually have fiber optics that has reached the village uh, next door. So it's at our doorstep uh, and coming soon to an off-grid home near you. So at Carmelita Gardens, we have a motto, independent together. So you see how an independent home works and you can see Carmelita Gardens is full of independent homes and independent individuals that all come together to make a community.